Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. So we're gonna do Varric's quest. Maybe even level up. Who knows? I sure don't know. So we do have Black Patter courtesy, we can go turn in the herbalist's tasks, we may do that later. And we should turn that into, but first, Family Matters. It was a great show back in the day. Well, not a great show. Wasn't going to uh, save lives or anything like that, but it was, it was a funny show at times, and a touching show at times. I doubt anyone actually watching this remembers that show. That's cool. I remember the show fondly. Steve Urkel was fam from Family Matters, a spinoff of a show that I never watched and uh, can't remember the name of, so I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? <clears throat> anyway, let's just move on. Bartrand really hasn't done much with this place, has he? I don't get it. My sources saw people making deliveries here just a week ago. This looks like it's been empty for months. You think he put the cobwebs up to discourage tax collectors? Well, you're thinking it's a trap. <laughs> Great. It's been ages since my brother tried to kill me. This is such a good part. So that's how you greet your brother, is it, Bartrand? Fine. Say hello, Bianca. So this isn't actually happening. Um, this is all in Barrack's mind. But... One of my my favorite. Uh... Oh, hey, look, a chest. I never saw that there before. Bartrand really has a slow attack rate, but it gives us a little bit of chance to uh, showcase the little dwarf. Can't actually get through there without doing this. There we go. So the point is, we're actually going to work our way up here. But it sure is fun. Things go a lot worse. Yeah, obviously this isn't really happening. Oh, Varric. Please forgive me, my brother. I was just jealous of you. How could I ever compete with you for mother's <laughs> love? You're strong and handsome, and so very smart. What? Why lie now about this? What have you to gain? <laughs> what do you want from me? I broke in, I found my brother, and it was awkward. Family business. No. I think there's more to it. <sighs> Fine. You want the gory details? I'll give you the gory details. And we're gonna pause because my pizza is done. Professionalism is at an all-time high. All right. Uh, just had forgotten that I put food in. Um, so, we're not going to stay on Varric. So just had to run and grab that. You will not have noticed a... These corpses aren't even stiff yet, Hawk. Pause. 
but uh, I did. So, these are crazed guards. Apparently, they're crazy. That'll be explained. My brother, dude, these men, they were completely out of their heads. We didn't see that. They attacked us just like every other enemy. <clears throat> um. That, and that, that goes back. Sorry for adjusting my mic there. To, um. Kind of what I'm talking about. This game does really good at telling you things, but it doesn't really t do a very good job about showing you things. Having the enemies gibbering like maniacs while they fought you would have been a pretty good way of showing that they were crazy. Making them act like every other enemy doesn't actually do anything at all. So hopefully they'll fix that in the next game. More, more responsive enemies would be nice. It's, it's all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. And that is the effect of Living Bomb. Basically it turns a closely clumped group of people, which is most of them because uh, they fight Avalon, into a much more powerful um, and ouch. Uh, AoE spell. So we're going to keep our men back here. And actually use Varric. Watch where you step. Yes, because there's that. Piece of cake. All that would have done would uh, be to trigger <clears throat> the enemies. But now that we have a drop on them, this area gets a lot easier to fight. So we have two DPS mages and Varric, who's also DPS. Uh, there's really nothing in these rooms, which is a shame. Um, except, you know, plenty of enemies to fight. There we go. Uh, most of them, Varric. Uh, I actually really don't need my own team to, to do this game, truth be told. I could, if I wanted, uh, literally do this solo. I don't because I think the interperson interparty personal aspect of the Bioware uh, fran franchises. That's all franchises, uh, so to date, uh, are their strongest aspect. This game is definitely pretty to play. I really I enjoy the fighting in this game more than Dragon Age Origins. I enjoy this game just o overall more than Origins, except the st I think the storyline in Origins is pretty good. My friend, what have you done? We're good to go. This is like one of the few times that we'll actually have, I don't know, emotion from our, from our teammates. We're also going to keep the same funneling strategy because there's going to be a lot of enemies and we're not going to let them through. As you can see, we took care of that literally on our own. And here comes the next batch, which don't stand a chance. I, I would like spell combos again, 
Um, they were a little overpowered. They made the mage uh, class in Dragon Age Warden completely ridiculous at higher level. They streamlined a lot of the leveling, which I'm actually okay with. Because a lot of the stuff in Dragon Age Origins was, excuse me, uh, kind of superfluous. So this is not the boss fight, if you can even call what we're going to have a boss fight. That's right! You heard me! And there we go. So we have one more fight, and then we'll go turn in some quests. Ooh, look at that. That's a lot of... Easy as pie. That's... Let's see if we can find any more. Your trap range, Varric, is pretty small. Nope. Cutscene time. <clears throat> is that you? Praise the ancestors. Hold up. I know this man. He's Bartrand Stewart. Hugin. Hugin. What happened here? Eric. <coughs> Excuse brother. me. Sorry. That statue he brought out of the deep roads. Bartrand said it sang to him even after he sold it. I'd been hiding in here, but the guards, they're like crazed animals. I didn't dare go past them. Everyone in this house has gone mad. I assume you mean he's crazy, not just very upset. He's hearing things, seeing things, talking to someone who's not there. That's when he's feeling good. Bartrand took the servants and locked himself inside the study. No one's come out for days. And those sodding lunatics just keep prowling the halls. Then we go in after him. Come on, Hawk. Let's finish this. So. We are going to... So there we go. Our first... See, that's what we need from all of the enemies. And we're pulling everyone inside because... This is going to be, not a tough battle, but, um, consolidating your teammates is the best thing you can do. <clears throat> and as always, we're going to AOE the door. I'm gonna let, and there's Bartrand. He's got a ton of help. This is the first actual boss mob other than the um, rock rate from the end of this, the first chapter. And yeah, as you can see, he really did a number on... They did a number on Varric. That's what happens when you let your friends uh, leave your protection. Bartrand is, is quite honestly very strong. We should make short work of him, though. So obviously he's not going to explode, even though his character model may. There we go. I can't hear it anymore. I just need to hear the song again. Just for a minute. Stop saying that! I know I shouldn't have sold the idol to that woman. It was a mistake. A mistake. Bartrand, get a hold of yourself. Do you know where you are? Do you know what you've done? Eric, you'll help me, won't you, little brother? Help me find it again. You were always a good one. Help you. Bartrand, you left me to die. You left all your men to die. And for what? Some trinket? Look at yourself. Look at what you've done to the men and women who served you. Where's your nobility, brother? Where's your dwarven honor? He doesn't look so good. I'm not sure he even knows we're here. 
I didn't come here just to leave without telling my brother he's a filthy nug licker and demanding some answers. Why'd you do it, Bartrand? Were you already crazy before we even went into the deep roads? Or was it all the statue? Idol. Not a statue. It wants to be worshipped. It wants me. It wants me back. She stole it from me. For this. Who did you sell the idol he to, won't tell Bartrand? Us. She glittered like the sun. But her heart was ice. She will not feed it. Not like I did. Bartrand was a bastard when he sees the deep roads, but he wasn't a madman. Bloody ancestors. Why bring me this close and still nothing? For three years, all I've wanted is to look him in the eye and get his answers. Why he abandoned us in that tig. What any of this was for. I guess there's nothing he could say that would make it right. We don't really have much of an option. Let's finish what we came here for, Varric. If you have Anders, right. he can actually heal still Bartrand a little bit. Good pulling that trigger. He's still a crazy lunatic, but you oh. actually can uh, save Bartrand, in a sense. We didn't take Anders because I don't particularly feel that that's the right way to go. Come on. I don't want to look at this place anymore. So, we're going to... Step into a trap. And yeah, uh, this is uh, Fenris's mansion, uh, for those of you who didn't notice. So yes, we're going to go talk to Varric, turn in the quests, and then we'll end the episode. Something on your mind, Varric? I should thank you for your help with my brother. He was a jackass, and he tried to kill us, but... That was still the hardest thing I've ever done. He was never what you'd call nice, or pleasant, or hygienic. But he was my only brother. Look at it this way. You didn't really lose a brother. You gained control of the family businesses. Sure. I've always wanted to waste my life arguing with the merchant guild. <laughs> That's probably what drove Bartrand crazy in the first probably. place. I don't know if surface dwarves go back to the stone or... Hang around singing hymns with Andraste or what? I just hope wherever he is now, Bartrand stays out of trouble. Any idea what really went on with him and that statue? Well, the thing must be cursed. I don't know if it's magic or demons or the bile of the ancestors, but I think curse about covers Yep. It. If we're lucky, whoever he sold it to had the damn thing melted down for scrap. Something like that. You think he'll badmouth us to the Maker? Haunt our houses? I wouldn't put it past him. He always was the vindictive type. Anyway, thank you. I'll keep looking into who bought that blighted statue. At the very least, they need to be warned about what happened. And this will culminate into basically what is the third chapter, where things will really kind of just... go crap. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Things go crap. We'll just make our way out of the high town area. We could go to the Hawk Estate. I don't think there's anything going on there yet. So chances are, at the end of this, we're going to lose some friends. Not really friends, but that's okay. So we're going to go talk to Varric first. And I can actually turn in those quests uh, off camera because you have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Don't the stories mention my stunning good looks? What about my cunning wit? Nope. They skip straight to the part about the lovable dwarf with the gorgeous crossbow and the heart of gold. I try to steer them straight, but you know how stories Yeah, Varric, we know. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours? There's a recipe to a good hero, Hawk. It's like alchemy. 
One part down to earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. And we are all of that. You let that percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done, you've got your hero. I guess all works. A little reverence wouldn't hurt, though. You may not be my best dressed or cleanest friend, Master Hawk, but you're all right in my. And mind. I love you too, Vera. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. And that will be the end of this episode. As always, guys, thanks for watching.